Hey guys, Rudy V, Anthony Ray, once again, I uh, want to show you something. Every once in a while, you know, we get like a, a request. Um, this is Shea, our standard poodle. Uh, again, coming off of winter, basically a shave down. But we like to give Shea a little bit of personality, and uh, his owners like it too. So we're going to work on a little bit of a mohawk on Shea. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. Right now I'm just using an eight and a half, just trying to create a little pattern of that mohawk. I want to be really careful right here with this ear flap. Got a lot of hair growth. So you can see a big difference in the end. And that little ear flap is right there, so I want to be real careful with that coming forward on it instead of down. And then we're just turning it out, out to get on the inside. Once we once we can see it, it makes it a little safer to, to work around it. So you want to explode expose this little ear flap right there. Okay, now we're switching blades. We're doing a, a, a 10 on the face. We call this a, uh, a clean face or a poodle face. It's when you take all the hair off of the face. <laughs> Good boy, Shay. I'm not choking him there, I'm just kind of stretching his skin. When, when you see my thumb doing this, just kind of stretching his skin so that the blade rests a little more flush. See, see right there, you want to kind of pull, the, pull his lip back so you're not cutting, because sometimes as the lip gathers, if you hit that with the 10 blade, you'll cut the lip. So you definitely want to be real careful with that. You know, as a groomer, there's lots of precision. You know, you have to be precise and you have to be really good uh, with you know, keeping the dog still enough and hitting your target. Um, it takes a lot of practice, as we talk about a lot. Um, so, again, whenever we're doing the ears, as we always mention, you want to be careful with that little ear flap right there. Uh, you cover it with your thumb. Go over it so you're so the blade's not catching it. We're gonna do a five F on his ears. We're actually gonna take his ears down pretty short too. So I'd like to get as much hair off as possible for the prep it just uh, saves time later and, and, and it limits the dog's table time you yeah. we want to try to get the do dogs off of the table um, you know they can only stay on it for so long so that's like really really overgrown so we're definitely going to take that down a lot I'm not even brushing it yet because there's no point in brushing it when I can just kind of hit it with the scissors for now and just pattern that a little bit more. And Shea, you, you see how Shay's tilting his head? It's because he's so used to me doing it. Um, you know, he, he just anticipates everything I'm doing. He's such a good dog. He lets me do everything. Such a sweetheart of a dog. Very smart dog. These standards are very, very smart dogs. If you're in the market for a dog and you want like a real house, uh, easy to house break dog, and easy to train dog, it's a standard poodle is a really good uh, option for you. 
just uh, very high maintenance as far as grooming is concerned, so keep that in mind too. If you don't have time to brush and have them groomed, um, might not be the choice for you. Like I said, this is the prep, so we're just kind of setting that little pattern. And uh, after this bath, we're going to show you how it looks finished. All right, so we're going to get Shay in the tub, and then we'll we'll show you how it looks when it's all finished. But you can see already how we just kind of, like I guess, I created that little pattern there, and uh, you know. Like, like we talked about, even though he's a shave down, uh, sometimes you give him a little personality. even a little harder to do a mohawk than it is to do a full poodle head because um, you could you have to be a little bit more precise and it has to come out a little better and it's a little more unorthodox than actually doing you know the poodle head uh, they didn't want too too much of a mohawk so we're really gonna take this down a lot more just trying to do it little by little I don't want to do it all up front because then if we take it too short right off the bat we can't put the hair back on so it's better just to kind of take it down little by little I'm using curved I really like the curved shanks um, they just kind of give a more round effect when you when you need it for example like right in here you know you kind of get that little angle where with the straight shears you wouldn't be able to grab that angle Look at this. You're so handsome, buddy. You kind of have to really make this line very evident here. So, kind of keep going over the same thing. Little by little. Good boy, buddy. Fluff you up. Fluff you up, little boy. And the tedious part of this is, you know, you're doing all this work and, you know, if he kind of just jumps a little bit, you know, it'll kind of ruin the whole thing. So I'm trying to get it done as quickly as possible and, uh, you know, doing as good a job as I can so that he doesn't start to tire. Like I said, dogs, just, you know, they want to get off the grooming table after a while. You can only keep them on the grooming table for so long. These scissors are great, by the way. Uh, they're Gibes, the M Gibes, great scissor. They're like uh, very uh, easy to use. They open and close real smoothly. Uh, they're a really good quality scissor. They're somewhat expensive. Um, 
you know, these these are, I think, eight and a half curves. These go for probably I don't know, like maybe, you know, one one seventy, one sixty. I think is probably the best price you can get. Sometimes they do a special on it, get them a little cheaper when you buy two or something like that, depending on where you get them. But they're really good scissors, and you can sharpen them a lot. And, you get a lot of use out of them. I've been, I've had these for probably five years, and when I sharpen them, they really it, it's like a new new pair of shears. So see it coming along there. You know, just about done. We're gonna call it in a second. But this is where it comes down to like the wire, or, you know. You want to try to maintain what you're doing, but at the same time, say, hey, you know, it's got to be done, you know? When you're doing this, too, sometimes like we talk about, you kind of have to step away, take a look at what you're doing. Um, you know, because if you're kind of here and you're scissoring, um, it's, you know, you kind of get too focused in on what you're doing. And unless you kind of step back and take a, take a look at it, you know, you're not going to be able to really see what you've done or what, what needs to be done. So always kind of step back and then look at it again, you know. Kind of coming to a little V in the front here. And again, just trying to keep them calm enough for the finish. I've had it where, you know, I've done this and spent all this time on it. And then kind of, you know, somebody will walk into the store or the phone rings and the dog just kind of jolts. And now, you know, you chop right into them. I'm hoping that doesn't happen right now. If it does, we'll camouflage it somehow. But hopefully that doesn't happen. That happens sometimes though. You groomers know what I'm talking about. People will say to me sometimes, hey, you never answer your phone. Well, this is why, I, you know, I, I can't always get to my phone. So if you call me midday and I'm doing this, uh, leave a message, I'll call you back for sure. What do you think, Shane? Think you're done, buddy? Look at that. I think that looks awesome. Thanks again for tuning in. We just really wanted to showcase uh, Shay's little mohawk there that we give him all the time. He's such a sweet dog, as you can see, letting us do all of that. Uh, so we really appreciate you uh, tuning in. And uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, check out our radio show. It's called Groomer Humor. We're going to leave that link down below. Give it up for Shay one more time. Go for it, Shay. Go for it. You good boy?